Hello, my name is Austin Nolan. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do color correction inside of Adobe Premiere. Now, a lot of people get color correction confused with color grading. Color grading is the stylistic look you put on your film after you color correct it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and color correct it, which is basically balancing out the highlights, midtones, and shadows to make it have a more contrasty look that doesn't come straight from the camera. So we're going to hop into that right now. Okay, here we are in Adobe Premiere CS6, and what I've already done is pulled in my footage and it's a clip I used from the last video I worked on that I thought was pretty easy to do color correction on and you can really tell after it's done. So I just want to start off by saying this isn't the only way and this is not the best way to do color correction. It's just the way I figured out that it's easiest and quickest for me to get it done. Okay, so let's start. Drag my footage into the sequence, scrub through, see it. This is just the whole take, I haven't really cut it at all. So what you're going to do is you can go to effects and type in fast. You're going to go for a fast color corrector. Drag that on over there. And then you're going to go to your workspace, top right, and change it from whatever it is now, most likely editing or editing CS 5.5, to color correction. Now what it's going to bring up is this Cinescope histogram kind of levels gauge right here, just a lot more detailed. So you go over to your effect controls over here, and you're, only, you're going to mainly be working with the input levels. And so if you look over here on the, on the histogram, anything above 100 is blown out. And anything below zero are crushed blacks. So what we're going to do is try to stretch this out and try to get the most dynamic range out of our footage as we can give it while adding contrast at the same time. So watching the histogram over here, I'm trying to get the majority of these levels over here up to 100. So we'll do that. Just drag the white right over here. And you're just going to drag it over. Now you can see I'm already starting to get some blown out on his shirt over here, but that's probably just going to happen because his shirt was already so bright. So at that point, I think it's good because the main focus of the shot is this person right here, so it doesn't matter if this is blown out. So now we're going to grab the shadows, bring them down farther until we crush them, just until it hits zero. So about right there. So now already, if you just turn the effect on and off, you can already see we got a lot more range out of our footage. It looks super flat, washed out gray. Just by doing that, it's already added more detail into the shot. And so now we're going to mess with the midtones. And this is, to, in my opinion, this is for preference. So you can just again drag this around, and you can make a shot a little brighter in your midtones, or a little bit darker. So I think I'm wanting just a little bit darker, but not much. Now the thing I've noticed whenever using fast color corrector and you bring up the highlights and shadows and midtones like this is it kind of seems like it loses saturation. So usually for me I add, it is 100 right now, I'll add 130 to it. So I'll make it 130 and it adds a good amount of saturation back into the shot. Sometimes even 140. I think that looks pretty good because it got a lot of nature and earth tones and and skin colors that really pop out after I bring up the saturation. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I do for the color correction now. So I think one of the best things about doing color correction this way is that you're not doing it by eye over here and kind of wondering if, yeah, that kind of looks right. What you can do is, since you're using this line to gauge the highlight, this line to gauge the shadows, then you know that if you do that for every shot, they're all going to be in the exact same numerical value of either 0 or 100 or wherever you decided to stop. So that means when you add a color grade over the whole shot, it will all look even throughout every single shot. And it just it saves you a lot of time in the end. So this is a way that I, I recommend doing. So. so that's it for the color correction. Now I'm going to go through here and show you some shots that I've taken where I've done a before and after wipe that's going to show what it looked like before I did the color correction and then what it looked like after I did the color correction and I'll even show you what as far as what color grading would look like after you do the color correction so enjoy
Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something. As always, please like and subscribe.